Hi, I'm Paula and I'm a civil engineer who's going to talk to you today about something really scary, which is why I've got the bag on my head. And it's not ghosts, but it's something even worse. It's the fact that we might become extinct. But let me start with some good stuff. Engineers have helped society for years and years and years and we've built everything that you need we've built your houses your roads and we've built power stations so you have electricity for your mobile phone and you can watch this today but we didn't realize that it was going to contribute to 40 percent of the co2 in the earth's atmosphere which is causing a big problem the 40 percent isn't just the things that engineers have done it's what everybody's done using all of that infrastructure that we've built but engineering is part of the solution, no doubt about it. So we're going to look at some engineering projects and how engineers are working towards a better future in each of the projects. And then we're going to come back to think about how we can engineer our way out of extinction. So my project's all new. Totally create the perfect new build solution that meets all your needs. Thanks for that design. There it is, all built. But could it be cheaper next time? Good look at reducing waste. Next time, let's be more productive and efficient. Thanks for the feedback. You're right, let's think about waste and the cost at the end of the day. So for our second project, I want you to involve the contractor early. I've learnt so much and got loads of improvements. Thank you. That was a lot easier to build. But what's the build going to be like in the long term? The earlier we're involved, the better. Yeah, thinking long term is great but it might mean short-term costs are increased. It might cost a little more, but we absolutely have to put climate change at the heart of everything we do. So we all need to get together for our next project and think about everybody getting involved at the very early stages. Or we'll do risk assessments for the whole life cycle and think about the environment. Oh yeah, we can select materials that are more sustainable, and but if it was smaller, it would use a lot less. You know what, you're right. I don't need it to be that big. Let's make it smaller. And if we reuse some of the site and some of the materials on site, we'd save an awful lot as well. We can repurpose almost everything on the project and the bits that we can't, we can recycle. Brilliant, we've got a project we can all be happy with and be proud of, and it hasn't cost the earth. So were you listening? Do you know who's at the heart of everything? Who's got the key to engineer us out of extinction? The clients only uh, pay for things and want projects to be made that the users need and want. And engineers work to what the clients want. However, engineers also have a really big part to play because engineers solve problems. So let's all agree not to become extinct. Let's think about our carbon footprint and let's be kinder to the environment. And let's do that in our everyday actions. What you can do is become an engineer and also help us engineer ourselves out of extinction.